Hey guys, it's Pastor Scott, and um, we got some bad news, <laughs> but it's going to be fun anyway. Hold on, let me share these to a couple groups. Ah, that's all right. It's just between you and me. But um, we uh, just got a call from Giorgio uh, a couple hours ago. Hello, Michael and everybody. Just wanted to give you an update. Uh, we're praying as to what to do. We just got a phone call from Giorgio, who was alerted by one of our uh, homeless or friends that stay out on the streets that they closed up the park that we would normally have service at. And I went by and verified it myself. So it looks like, yeah, they've uh, closed up the parking lot and the park all together and put yellow uh, caution tape around and said no gatherings. And the park's open for people to walk through. Of course, um, the six foot distance. So we're here at the Trotsky House in Placentia. And um, it's basically the home office of the One Accord Crusades ministry when we're here in the United States. Um, and then we also spend a considerable amount of time up in Montana the past few years and then uh, the rest of the time in Indonesia doing ministry from the road. But uh, I wanted to go live and, hey Ian, we're at the Trotsky pad. Um, they closed up the park uh, completely, so we won't be able to have services there. So I uh, informed Del Taco. So I'm just praying about it and thinking about just going live from the backyard. I would go out in the, the cul-de-sac and have church um, for the neighbors, but then that would could create some issues with uh, police and such. And since everyone's so on edge right now, I'd rather not get arrested again. Um, so I'm going to flip this around and see how this looks. So this, uh, the pool, our childhood pool. I'm thinking about inviting Jeff over here on Sunday at around 1.30 uh, for some fellowship. And then that will just go live from here. So I'm just going to go stand over there. We'll use the microphone on Sunday so you guys can hear a little bit better. I didn't uh, set it up right now. But I'm just going to go over there and say a few things. Uh, I got the just the microphone or not the microphone, but the music stand, which is what we usually use for a pulpit. So hold on. See how that looks. <clears throat> so let me just adjust the, the camera height here. I don't know how it's going to look as far as to where my head's going to be, but I'm going to go over there and stand. I think that looks pretty cool. Um, that right there. Is a waterfall. We got some yuccas and the slide that we used to jump off of when we were kids into the pool and drive my mom nuts. Um, yeah, and the grandkids just love it. It's the Trotsky House in Placentia, California. So hold on. So just considering this for Sunday, uh, my wife's on the phone. Don't know where my brother is, so otherwise I'd have them help me out as far as to how the camera looks, but I just wanted to see, and then like I said yesterday, we'll do a song or two of worship on Sunday for Easter, and then we'll just preach it back here, um, and prayerfully the neighbors will be chill. Um, I guess if they wanted to join, they can come around the back and keep their six foot distance, uh, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. It's just... Uh, Right here, we can set the little boom box, get the microphone so that you guys can hear. Because uh, if we don't, we have to speak really loud. <laughs> but we can use the microphone and talk normal, and it comes across uh, on the video pretty good. Amen. I mean, I can preach loud, but I think it works a little bit better for you guys. So in lieu of the park, we're thinking about maybe having to do this on Sunday. Jeff can just come in the back. There'll be no imposing on the family if they want to join they can join if not that's cool they can watch from their room <laughs> and, uh, keep the social distancing up well, me as an evangelist I'd much rather be out in the cul-de-sac and have the whole neighborhood be involved but uh, we don't want to create too much of a stink so we still want to bring service to you guys obviously we won't be able to feed the homeless we'll go over there and put a sign up print up a sign so they can catch our prayer line number and ask questions and what at least let them know that we're not going to be there. 
until this uh, ban is lifted. So not too thrilled about it, but it's safer and uh, for the family and such. So at least we won't be bringing anything home. <laughs> and, uh, Jeff, like I said, can come in along the back there, set up, and we'll just do service as normal. Uh, Easter Sunday message from our memory verse, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 8. All righty. So I don't know, comment or shoot me a private message as to what you guys think as far as to how it looks. When I was looking on the other side of the camera, I thought it looked pretty cool. And uh, it's either that or you get the fence <laughs> in the patio and Brett's smoker. Or I can turn the camera over there and you guys get the yucca. And yeah, and my sister's poo-pooing the over that idea. So, so maybe I think the pool and the... Slide will be great. <laughs> so I don't know, guys. Leave an amen or a comment. Tell me what you think. Just brainstorm as to what we're going to have to do for Sunday, the big Easter Sunday, the backyard, the Trotsky pad, possibly. Amen? I don't know what else to do. God bless you guys. If you need anything at all, call us at 1-855-70-JESUS.